Today, we celebrate a modest yet meaningful milestone. In a span of just three months, this channel has grown, reaching a heartening 100 subscribers. We thank you so very, very much. It's a humble beginning indeed, but every journey starts with a single step, and this is ours. Each and every one of you plays a vital role in this journey, your continuous support being the bedrock of our endeavor. We're eager to continue to improve the quality of our content. To that end, we encourage you to suggest topics you'd like us to explore in the comments. Your support fuels our passion for sharing knowledge. This is a follow-up video about our new moon. Now, you'd think something as common as a moon would have a clear-cut definition, but surprisingly, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, doesn't have a specific scientific definition for a moon. This of course presents certain challenges when it comes to classifying celestial objects, a dilemma we witnessed firsthand with the controversial demotion of Pluto to a dwarf planet back in 2006. The world of moons is a diverse one hosting both regular and irregular satellites. Regular moons like our very own Luna orbit in the same plane as their parent planet. They're the well-behaved children of the planetary family. Then we have the irregular moons, the rebels if you will, with their eccentric orbits that don't conform to the norm. But the rabbit hole goes even deeper. Have you ever heard of moon moons? It's not a typo, but a term that's been speculated to describe moons that orbit other moons. It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's a concept that's been seriously considered by researchers. This informal definition of a moon as an object orbiting a planet or dwarf planet is deemed sufficient by many. But as we continue to explore the cosmos and uncover new celestial bodies, who knows? We may soon have to expand our understanding of what constitutes a moon. As we venture deeper into space, our understanding of moons continues to evolve. It's a thrilling journey of discovery and there's no telling what exciting revelations await us just around the cosmic corner. Did you know our planet has a second moon? It's not something you see in the night sky, but it's out there, orbiting in sync with our Earth. Meet Kamoalawa, an asteroid that's claimed the title of Earth's second moon. This celestial body was discovered back in 2016 and it measures somewhere between 130 to 330 feet across, roughly the size of the Statue of Liberty. But where did Kamo Oalewa come from? That's a question that intrigued scientists for years. Through a combination of computer models and numerical simulations, they've managed to trace its origin back to the Giordano Bruno crater on the far side of our familiar moon. Yes, our second moon in a way is a child of our first. Now you might be wondering, how do we know all this? Well, the credit goes to the relentless efforts of scientists who have been tracking and studying Kamaolewa since its discovery and their work is far from over. In fact, there's a significant mission planned for next year. China's Tianwen-2 mission aims to further study this intriguing asteroid which will undoubtedly shed more light on Kamaolewa and its unique characteristics. This exploration is not just about understanding Kamawalewa, it's about gaining deeper insights into our universe, the dynamics of celestial bodies, and how they interact with each other. It's about unraveling the mysteries that the cosmos holds and bringing that knowledge home to Earth. Kamawalewa, our second moon, is a fascinating testament to the wonders of our universe. And as we continue to learn more about it, we're reminded of how much there is still to discover in the vast expanse of space. We may have two moons, but we are just one small part of a much larger, ever-evolving cosmic story. What are the implications of Earth having two moons? It's a thought that's bound to stir up some curiosity. Let's delve into the intriguing world of celestial mechanics and uncover the potential effects of two moons on our Earth-like planet. Let's start with the gravitational forces. Now gravity is not just a force that keeps us grounded, it's a cosmic glue that holds the universe together. Every object exerts a gravitational pull on every other object. So introducing a second moon into Earth's orbit would create a complex dance of gravitational interactions. The pull from two moons could cause Earth's axis to wobble more than it does now, leading to more pronounced changes in our seasons. Next, we come to tidal impacts. The tides on Earth are primarily driven by the gravitational pull of our moon. Now imagine adding another moon into the mix. The tides would become more complex with potentially higher highs and lower lows. Coastal areas could experience dramatic changes, with some areas becoming submerged while others might emerge. But what about the moons themselves? Could they collide? Well, that would depend on their respective orbits. If the two moons were on a collision course, the resulting impact could send debris hurtling towards Earth. 
leading to catastrophic events similar to those believed to have caused mass extinctions in the past. On the other hand, if the moons were in stable orbits, they could coexist peacefully. However, their combined gravitational pull might tug on each other causing their orbits to change over time. This could result in a complex and unpredictable dance of the moons in the night sky. Now these are just mathematical estimations and theoretical implications. The actual effects would depend on a myriad of factors, including the sizes, distances, and orbital characteristics of the moons. But one thing is for certain, the presence of two moons would indeed reshape our world in unimaginable ways. As we conclude our journey into the realm of moons, it's clear that understanding these celestial bodies broadens our perspective of the cosmos. We've explored what it takes for an object to be considered a moon, met Earth's intriguing second moon, Kamoalewa, and speculated on the effects of having two moons. Our exploration doesn't have to stop here. For those of you keen to delve deeper, we've used fantastic resources from Forbes, Live Science, and the Astronomy Stack Exchange Network. You'll find these articles linked in the description below. They're packed with more details, and we highly recommend checking them out. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the support that makes these explorations possible. We have promotional links in the description that help sustain this channel. By making everyday purchases through American Northwest Products websites Amazon and other affiliates Storefront, you are directly contributing to our journey of knowledge. And lastly, a huge thank you to each one of our 100 subscribers. Your support over the past three months has been incredible. We're excited to keep producing content that fuels curiosity and fosters learning. Remember, every click, like, and share contributes to the growth of this channel. Thank you for being part of our journey.